Hello everyone and welcome to another Cinequest Reviews. Today we're going to be talking about the movie Orphan First Kills. Let's get into it. So Orphan First Kills is a prequel to the 2009-2007, I forgot which year it was, movie Orphan, um, starring uh, Isabel Furman, who, spoiler alert, if you have not seen this movie, if you have not seen the first one, the whole twist of that is that she is a older woman in a child's body. She has some sort of a dwarfism that uh, I, I really don't know, but I don't remember what kind it was. But uh, it basically makes her look like a child when actually she is, I guess in that case, like a 30-year-old woman. So again, this is a prequel. So this movie was directed by, I have my notes here, uh, William Brett Bell. Uh, he actually did The Boy, The Boy 2, Separation, and The Devil Inside. Not exactly hitting those classic horror films. I'm personally not a fan of any of those films, so knowing that he was directing this kind of made me a little apprehensive about watching this and whether or not this would be good at all. And the movie does star, again, Isabel Furman, who is about 25 now and was, I think, 10 or 12 whenever they made the first one. It also stars Julia Stiles, uh, as you know from 10 Things I Hate About You, something about some dance movie that I don't really care for. Also not a huge fan of Julia Stiles either, but I thought she did a pretty good job in this movie. Orphan First Kill follows Esther again as she escapes a psychiatric facility in Estonia where she's causing all kinds of havoc, pretty much leaves a trail of dead bodies in her wake. She then escapes to America to impersonate a missing daughter of a wealthy family. And that's basically as much as I can give you as far as the plot is concerned uh, because I went to this thinking that we're basically going to get Orphan, the first one again. Uh, we find out she is, um, we, the family finds out she's an older, she's actually an older woman in a child's body. They go crazy. She starts killing everyone the end. That's kind of the generic idea that I had going into this movie. We do, the first half of this film, we do see Esther kind of going through the motions again. There's kills, there's uh, pretty some pretty cool, some pretty good kills. Like she, she seems more brutal in this one than she was in the first one, at least. Uh, as far as gore is concerned. Uh, we start off with Esther in the psychiatric facility that is mentioned in the first one whenever they're finding information out about her. We see that she came from that psychiatric facility. There's a twist that happens in this film and it's a pretty cool one. I wasn't expecting it at all. The second half of this movie is uh, I thought was fairly more enjoyable because the, the twist starts playing out and everything, the stakes seem to be getting pretty higher, especially for Esther and the family that she is involved with. And again, as far as spoilers are concerned, that's as much as I want to say about that. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it is barely, it barely came out this Friday. Please go check it out. It is on Paramount Plus. Uh, if you have the opportunity, go watch it in the theater. I saw it on Paramount Plus, and I probably, I kind of wish I would have gone to the theater to go watch this. The whole thing about this movie is that they're getting Isabel Fremen to return as the Esther character. Mind you, she was a child when they did it the first time. She is older now. You're going into this thinking it's going to be completely silly. Uh, how are they going to play this out? And initially, it's obvious that she is older. As the movie played out, I forgot that uh, Isabel Furman was actually, she's like 25 years old now. Um, and I think she did a really good job portraying Esther again. Uh, she seemed that she, it seems that she kind of got into the character fairly easily. Um, she is pretty brutal. She, she's ruthless. You can see that she really committed to this character. But the whole thing of shooting it, how are they going to shoot it? I mean, she is taller, obviously. Uh, apparently, they put the actors like on thicker shoes, or they had thicker shoes on them or something like that. I don't know, but I think they did a pretty good job. Of course, if they get close-ups, you can tell she's obviously older. They back up, and it's obviously someone different. At least I think it is. I mean, I really don't know if they did CGI with that or exactly what kind of camera tricks they did to, to make this movie, but I think they did a fairly good job. And the movie is well made. It shot really well. Overall, I think um, Orphan First Kill was a nice surprise. I was expecting it to be completely silly. Really bad movie. Uh, it's not as it's not a great movie, but it is an enjoyable movie. And like I said before, if you have the chance or you have the opportunity to go watch it in the theater, you should do that. Or I mean, go watch it at home on Paramount Plus if you have that. Overall, I give Orphan First Kill a solid six out of ten. It's a fun movie. It's a violent movie. Has a nice twist in it, which makes the whole story pretty interesting and clever. And I highly recommend it. Go check it out.
Remember, if you like these videos, if you want to see more from CineQuest video, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can make sure you get all of our videos. Uh, we have a bunch of new stuff coming up for this fall season. Stay tuned for the Halloween month. We've got a lot of stuff coming out, a lot of things in the works. So again, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. And thanks for watching.